Okay, so not only did Varivest make exceedingly good hooks, <laughs> they also make some fantastic yeah. braid, don't they? Yeah, they're really known, in Japan, they're really known for their braid. Yeah. And if you can sell braid in Japan, it's got to be good. Yeah, it's got to be good, yeah. extremely good. And this stuff really is as well. I've been using it for a few years now. I remember when you first brought this stuff over as well. It's the, the Super PE stuff. Um, what can I say about this? It's very, very thin diameter. Um, and it's a really tight knit as well. It's very, very tightly woven. Um, some of the braids out there, some of the cheaper braids especially, they're quite loose and they tend to fray a bit and water gets in, all that sort of stuff. You're not going to get that with this. Um, it is really a top end, high quality product. But not at a silly price, which is the nice No, thing. What's the, what, yeah. I mean, it comes in two, two different size balls here. You've got 270 metres yeah, and yeah. 135 yeah, metres. Three, 300 yards, you're paying just under £30 for That's it at the moment, really which is, a, you know, for, for what it is, is, yeah. a, is a really good price for, good. for a really good braid. It's nice, nice and round as well. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. something like that is ideal. One of those 300 yard spools is going to be perfect for filling up your multiplier, that sort of thing. The 135 metre spools like this, I mean we looked at some fixable reels earlier, um, and one of them, the Mitchell one that we looked at, had a, had a shallow lip spool, that basically means you can put that whole spool of braid on that reel with no need to put any backing on it, and that's sort of a, a, a one, one fill spool of line that is. What's the recommended retail on these? Uh, it's under £20. Pounds, is so, it? Yeah. Perfect. Good. For a quality line like that from Varus, um it casts really, really well. I'm like I say, I've used it off the boat for, for quite a few years now, for both for down tiding and up tiding as well. Um, years ago, we all used to say, braid up tiding, casting, oh, yeah, no. it's no it's, good, you're going to chop your thumbs off, this sort of mm. stuff. But having yeah. actually you experimented, it, you? yeah, you can. Yeah. With, with braids like this that are designed for casting, yeah. you know, back in the day when, you know, you're dying on. 3,000 yeah, came yeah. out and all yeah. that sort of stuff, you know. It goes back a long way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Big step forward it's when you look, step at, forward. look at what it was going back. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, yeah, very best super PE. Very, very good stuff. Now, moving on from that, we've got the next generation stuff. Now, this is actually called Sea Bass. Uh, and they're big on their Sea Bass in Japan, yes. aren't they? Yeah. yeah, they're very keen. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They're similar sort of species to the European yeah, Sea Bass. Yeah. Um, similar habitat. Slightly different in appearance, but uh, yeah, it's just they're just like us, really. They're mad for it. This stuff, I gather, is a bit more expensive, is it? A little bit dearer, yeah. yeah. You're, you're looking at still, still well less than thirty pounds. Yeah. Of course, you get you get less line on the spool with that. Yeah. Um, like I say, it's it's designed specifically for casting this stuff. Um, interesting thing here that Dave just pointed out to yeah, me. That's a bit different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. On the on the box here, it's 150 meters spool. Uh, They've got an average breaking strain, which is 21.5 pounds, uh, and they've got a maximum breaking strain as well, which is 24.5 pounds. I um, don't really know what the why, what the reasoning is behind ah, that. Do it's you? the IGFA, the ah. International Game Fishing Association, where you're doing yeah. line strengths, and it's very important you don't have a line that breaks at more than uh, that line class got record. It. Um, it just might cause a bit of confusion. We'll sell that as 20 pound line. Yeah. Uh, yep. which is what it would have been in the old days before they put the new labelling on. Got but it. for anybody who is going after records, it's just the job. Yeah, so basically, I mean, that, that pretty much says to you that you can catch fish um, if you're going for a £25 class line record. That's that stuff's going to be ratified. It won't. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It won't break it more, so you'll, you'll get your record. Yeah, mm. superb. That's interesting as well. I'll just turn the box around. You've got, it uh, yeah. doesn't say how long, but obviously it's a, it's a fair, fairly decent coil of fluorocarbon in there, yeah. which is obviously very very again. Very, yeah, and obviously the very top quality fluoro. Yeah. yeah, that's a great little touch actually. You know, you can fill your, fill your reel up. Mm. You've, You've got, got that your leader there. 25 pound um, breaking strain of fluorocarbon. Um, to put your leader on. That's a, that's a great little idea. I like yeah. that. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Particularly good on fixed ball reels for, for chucking lures around this stuff. Yeah, the the sea bass PE, well worth a look.